Okay, time for another review. Yamaha just released the full version of the ESP or the software version of Yamaha Montage M that I've already downloaded here. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to download this and um, uh, I've connected this to the Yamaha Montage that I have, not the Yamaha Montage M that is sitting right there. So that way, technically I have the Yamaha Montage M sounds on my original Yamaha Montage. Uh, so let's go over the installation process then we're gonna uh, play some of the sounds and see how does it sound so in order to download the latest version you open your steinberg download assistance and since you already added you've already added the expanded or esp version of the yamaha montage and you should have it under your purchase products um, the key code is already there all you um, need to do you should have some already down you should have some uh, notification regarding the updates for that thing that you have to accept and download the update I've already um, downloaded mine and that um, file is around 8 gigabyte that you have to download after you download the file of course it's a compressed file um, you have to unzip it and you go through the install um, installation procedure and install all the files. It takes a while because there's like 20,000 or pages for the Yamaha Montage, too many files, and it takes a while to install that um, software. After you install the file, you open your Cubase. In my case, this is the latest version, which is Cubase 13. And then you can open your uh, latest ESP version, uh, which is here. So as you see, instead of having that just picture of the Yamaha Montage here, you have the full access to all the effects here you can for instance go ahead and choose the shimmering reverb and all the new stuff that have been added to this and of course you have access to all of the performances from uh, Yamaha Montage M and Yamaha Montage even the new performances that have been added to the Yamaha Montage M uh, through the version 2 update is already here which i've already pulled one of them up one of the things that i noticed is um still uh, this was like the previous version so if i change the scenes here uh, on my yamaha montage as you see the scenes are changing there you can see it's gonna um, like the icons for the scene is gonna lay up and you see everything is changing accord in according to the scene or even if i turn my super knob you see the super knob is turning there but none of the leds here are gonna change so it is what the way that it was before um of course it's doing it only with the yamaha montage you don't have that problem with the yamaha montage m but um, when you're working with yamaha montage or probably any other controller uh, you shouldn't see any change in like okay, LEDs and stuff like that so it, it's gonna uh, it doesn't mean that it's not working it's, as you see it's working there I'm turning my super knob now I'm changing the scene and you see um, it's changing in the software but the LEDs here are pretty much like uh, still they, they don't they don't change uh, okay let's play this uh, theme 1982 this theme is uh, been designed by Dom Segalos and it's pretty very simple thing it's just he just layered a pad sound uh, with the um, like a classic guitar sound uh, and it's nice uh, he's um, this is inspired by one of this 1982 songs by Vangelis um, it's not pretty much the same because the original song has been played with the EP but uh, the outcome is pretty nice uh, we're gonna play part of the song and um, see how does this sound
As you might hear, this is a very pretty impressive thing. All the sound qualities are pretty identical to what you get on the original Yamaha Montage M. And the only problem is, as I said, when you control it with the Yamaha Montage, um, you can control everything, but um, you don't see the effects on your LEDs here. And it might have the same issue with some of the other controls. But having this thing is a blessing because for anybody of you guys that you own the Montage M, or especially the M8X version, um, and those are pretty heavy, so if you want to carry them to the stage, if you're playing on the stage, having this software is a very good thing because you can use a very lightweight controller on the stage um, and have all the sounds. Or like in a case like me, when I'm working here, I can use my montage, original montage, or any of my other uh, keyboards. And when I'm working with the DAW and use this as a, a VST, and it's a VST3 plugin. Uh, so definitely go ahead and update your montage uh, ESP uh, software if you haven't done it yet and enjoy. Thanks for watching this and bye for now.